Hello folks and welcome to this review of the TQ6 Plus produced by Virtual Fly. This is the thing we are going to talk about. First a short disclaimer, I wasn't paid to do this review and I'm not affiliated with Virtual Fly. I was told that I could keep the throttle quadrant after the review, so thank you very much for that. But of course I'm not going to let this affect this review. I received this a couple of weeks ago. I also made an unboxing video that you can find in the video description down below this video. Now Virtual Fly are also known for other flight control units. Probably most known is Yoko the Yoke. They also produce a single engine throttle control, the TQ3, which instead of six levers has three levers. The TQ6 Plus is compatible with the most popular flight simulators, FSX, Prepared and Explain. First impression is that this is very high quality. It doesn't have this fragile plastic feeling that you get with many other throttle controls. The construction is all metal. Inside it's got 12-bit all effect magnetic sensors on all axes, which not only makes it extremely precise, but also makes it extremely durable. The movement of the levers is very smooth and the tension of the levers can actually be adjusted here on the side from very tense to no tension at all actually. On this side we can adjust the tension on the throttle and on this side we can adjust the tension on the mixture and the propellers. The levers have different heights, different shapes and uh, this makes it easier to distinguish each lever uh, when for example flying in VR. All six axes are equipped with a strong detent, also marked visually. This detent separates the throttle accelerator area from the throttle reverse, the RPM variable pitch area from feathering, and mixture control area, rich to lean, from cutoff. These are all great features. They need a little configuration to work properly, depending on which sim you're using. Back to that in a second. The throttle quadrant is plug and play or plug and fly or whatever you would call it. But it requires a small program to be loaded in the background for these features to work properly. The throttle quadrant comes with a mounting bracket that can be put either on the back or underneath the throttle quadrant. And therefore the throttle quadrant can either be mounted on the table or protruding from the table. It comes with a USB cable. Let's get back to the throttle reverse configuration and how to set it up. To be able to use this in X-Plane 11 it requires a small plugin which is downloadable from the Virtual Fly website. The plugin needs to be loaded every time you load up your sim. So. What I've done is to make a shortcut and paste it into my startup folder so that each time I start up my PC the plugin loads automatically. I have also checked a box inside the plugin so that it loads minimized and that way I don't even notice that the plugin loads and I don't need to remember to load it myself before starting up my sim. First time you load up the plugin, choose the TQ6, calibrate the idle point of the throttle levers. Calibrate parallelism of levers by slowly pushing throttle levers forward. And then back again while keeping the two levers parallel. Next we need to assign axes and calibrate the prop and mixture levers. This is done inside X-Plane 11. Let's first assign the throttle levers to none since this is now controlled from the Virtual Fly plugin. Then assign prop 1 and prop 2.
and mixture 1 and mixture 2. And check reverse axis. Now we need to calibrate the prop and mixture levers, including the feathering and cutoff zones. Now everything should work as supposed to inside X-Plane as you should be able to see in the background. And also the throttle reverses. cutoff zones. Let's also check feathering when the props stop rotating. This feature works really well and the strong detent will make sure that you are fully aware when throttle is set to idle and when you change over to throttle reverses, feathering and cutoff. I haven't experienced any spiking with it, this event where you get sudden unintended changes when, for example, slowly moving the lever position to a little more than idle and suddenly you are at full throttle inside the sim. I haven't experienced this with this throttle quadrant which I've certainly had with other throttle quadrants, such as for example the Cytec after a short while of use. I haven't experienced any major left to right discrepancies. There'll always be a minor difference between the left and right lever, but not something you'd notice. Now, what do I think about this throttle quadrant? First of all, it's not cheap. It's 605 euros, but is it worth it? Well, obviously, I can't tell if it's worth that to you personally, but I can tell you that I'm over excited about it. I think it looks absolutely beautiful, if that's even something you can say about a throttle quadrant. Anyway, it looks very close to what you'll see in real world aviation. It's extremely well made and just by the look of it, you can tell that this is extremely high quality. It's very precise, you can make even very small adjustments and get exactly the setting inside the sim you want it. The movement of levers is very smooth. It's extremely durable due to a combination of metal construction and magnetic sensors. It comes with great features. The adjustable strength on all levers to match the performance to your personal liking is great and gives it an ultra real feeling. The detents with throttle reverses propeller feathering and cutoff is nice and works really well. It's plug and play and only requires minor setting up in terms of the plugin as shown in the video. After setting up everything works as supposed to. The only issues, which is not even an issue, is that when you are flying aircraft with more than two engines, the Boeing 747 for example, then you need to change your joystick assignments so that only one throttle lever controls all engines. Otherwise, you'll only control engine one and two with the levers. Again, no, it's not cheap and of course you can do with less, but if you want it as real as it gets, then the TQ6 from Virtual Fly is the Rolls Royce of throttle quadrants. You absolutely do get what you pay for. If six levers is too much for you because you only fly a single engine aircraft, then there's always Virtual Fly's TQ3. Same features, just with three levers. Well, if you like what you've seen in this video, I've put a link to the TQ6 Plus from Virtual Fly down in the description under this video. Also, please remember to like and share this video. Thank you so much for watching and See you very soon.